Fall armyworm was first discovered in Nigeria in 2016, but within a short period the pest has spread across East Africa and Central Africa with devastating effect. And the level of damage that the crop causes uh, stretches to over 80 crops, maize being the primary crop for its uh, damage. This insect can eat almost any type of plant. That we know. The loss that has been estimated ranges up to 80 and in some places up to 100 percent, meaning that... Mystery still lingers around the cause, the spread and how to stop the crop pest from spreading. This uh, army worm came onto the African continent just last year, so it means it's new. We didn't know it, our scientists did not know it. This pest uh, is transboundary comes uh, from a country where it, it covers from one country to another and in Africa it has uh, taken over over 28 countries so far. It is going to be with us. We should be have the capacity, develop the capacity to manage it so that it doesn't da do too much damage which affects our livelihood. Spreading fast and affecting majorly maize and other cereals, the new crop pest has caused huge losses, shifting it from a farmer's problem to now a political issue. Food is a political item, so we are saying that because this particular pest can affect up to 80 to 100 uh, percent of a farmer's garden, there is going to be political interest in this question. Our politicians must help our farmers, mobilize our farmers to make sure that we respond to this pest before we have uh, alarming levels of food insecurity. Since discovery in Uganda, government responded quickly to the fall armyworm invasion, providing necessary pesticide and education to farmers on ways of fighting the pest. The scientists also disapprove on the myth that indigenous maize crop is resistant to the fall armyworm. But so far there is no scientific evidence that it does not eat our farmer, what do you call, our local crop viruses. There is no evidence. With the full army worm attacking maize, a staple food for many East and Central Africans, food and agricultural organization FAO foresees a catastrophe in the future if no remedy to spread it is found. We have up to about 243 million Africans that are currently malnourished. And this worm was not considered when those data was taken, which means if African countries, particularly Eastern Africa, we are in, we are having the largest proportion of the undernourished. The problem of malnutrition will compound or the problem of hunger will be very, very high in this sub-region. Sub Dennis Igor and David Matovu for UBC News.